Okay, I am gonna talk about continue now because to me, continue, like the last two continue and generate are very interesting. Uh, okay, so continue, which you'll find here, um, it predicts where the pattern can go next. It can finish or create a variation or an idea. It can be used for melody or drum beat, um, and it can extend up to 32 measures. So let's say um, I like, you know, this is one of the clips that I liked from Interpolate. So I'm gonna open up Continue. Now that you can see it, <laughs> I'm gonna go to Melody. Uh, I'm going to choose the track. Um, it is on the bass interplay track, and it is the four five M Rose plus J Wara. And let's say we want to make it four bars. There's there's going to be four variations of it. I'm going to turn up the temperature a little bit, just get a little bit weirder. Um, generate. Just saying it's going to go over one of the other clips. That's totally fine. Boom. Let's hear what they gave us. Here's the information that I created. Cool. And then this is the cool. <laughs> Okay. Yes, turn around. Just got to turn around the end there. just an example of continue. Now this last one is super interesting um, and it is called generate because it straight up generates um, and generates melody from no source material, <laughs> which is wild. So I have this um, just a piano sound loaded onto this track and I'm going to pop open generate. Um, and let's say you can do it for drums or melody, but um, in this case, I like to generate some melody. I'm going to choose the piano drumify track that I've already loaded, and then slot one. It's going to give us eight variations. Turn up the temperature just a little bit. Boom. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> try continue on a drum track. Um, so I have this Instant House, another Max plugin um, loaded and I'm going to do, um, I'm actually going to do, we're going to try continue with this. Let's just open up. 
Um, or do I want to do, um, actually I'm gonna do generate, generate a new beat onto this track. Okay, so do it for drums. Uh, instant house track. Cool. Wait, manually. Oh, instant house generate drums. Slot two. Okay. Okay, let's see some beats. Ooh. Generated some new, uh, some new, some new beats. Tom in there. So essentially for me, I just, I really see these as, yeah, I, I am, I'm a solo artist and um, I, as I try to get into the studio with other people as much as possible because I think collaborating is such a fun process. Um, but when I can't be in the studio with somebody else, uh, I really think of this process as, um, you know, my ability to collaborate with uh, another brain, even if that is a robot brain. Um, and because, you know, once something that comes outside of my my own brain is, is thrown into the picture then I get to take that and do what I need to do to it and then maybe split it back into the system and then take that you know and then there's this really cool feedback loop um and I think that some people have I think AI can be a scary weird topic um but I, re I really see this as a collaborative tool that um you know once once it's created and made we still then have to you know, add that LFO to or saturation or, you know, spice it up a little bit or you know, do the production work. But um, it's just a great starting place that I think can get our creative juices flowing. And um, I found these tools to be really helpful when I'm sort of hitting a, a block, if you will.